Hello, and welcome to a figure review for a series I've not actually covered before, um, and that is the DC Universe Action League. As you can see, they're like, well, this type of set is a two-figure set. I'm not actually sure if there's other Action League kind of sets with more or less figures. Um, as you can see at the back, there's other two packs to collect as well, and doubtlessly more than just those three at the back. And uh, as you can tell, uh, from, well, basically just looking, I don't even need to show you the little title cards there. This one is Batman and the Joker, or Batman versus the Joker, I guess. So this is from the sticker, uh, actually built into this, which is bizarre, but whatever. So yeah, as you can see, Batman and the Joker, their figures. I think they're posable, I'm not sure. Um, also on the back, uh, for a bit of clarity, for those of you who don't know who Batman and the Joker are, Seriously, if there are people out there that, that don't, that, I mean, I'm not sure why you're even watching this video, but, okay, let's, let's look into, because this gives a bit of pretty detailed background. Batman and the Joker are legendary foes. So, that was really, um, descriptive. I, I apologise if I lost some of you there, with the uh, intricacies of, you know, their history. But, anyway, I'm going to go ahead and open this, and I'll be right back. Also, just before opening, uh, as I've noticed there, we get some more, um, well, members of the Justice League, I think, on the side. Batman, Green Lantern, Superman, Wonder Woman. I think that's... No, I am. Who is that? Oh, that's Aquaman. <laughs> and the Flash, I think. There. There's the Flash. Right, okay, cool. I'm going to go open this. I'll be right back. Okay, I am back. I have unboxed these, so let's start with the Joker. He... Um, has one more point of articulation than Batman, and that is the head. So, out of them, they have head articulation, uh, both arms, and hip articulation. Obviously, the legs are moulded and stuff. Uh, as you can see, there's some detailing, and I'm assuming that's for a stand or something. In terms of figure quality, he is pretty damn detailed. Down to, I don't know if you can see this... But there's a join between his glove and his um, his sleeve, which has buttons as well, which I just realised. Um, this is Im impressive, because uh, I originally thought I bought this in a um, discount shop called uh, Home Bargains, and I thought th these are just rejects, where his hands are painted purple by accident. But no, these are his gloves, as we can see from the back here, where he is clearly wearing gloves. Uh, maybe you can't see quite clearly on camera, but it is pretty clear. So attention to detail is pretty damn awesome here. Um, I'm also really liking the art design. It's very sort of angular and sort of cartoony uh, in a way. Reminds me a bit of the movie Metropolis. I thought I'd include a picture of Metropolis there, just um, in case guys, some of you guys haven't seen it. Uh, in terms of sort of size and stuff, also, they kind of a bit remind me of as a Star Wars line, uh, they're like mini chibi kind of figures. Um, actually, hang on, I'll go and get some. Okay, I'm back. Um, yeah, as I was saying, they're sort of the same scale as the Star Wars ones. Um, this is General Grievous's bodyguard, one of my favourite, uh, like, designs from the Star Wars universe. Um, but yeah, but so... And they're sort of that that sort of scale, which is pretty cool. Uh, articulation's pretty good. His arm obviously goes all the way around. Uh, and his gun, although only a few pauses actually make sense. That works. That kind of works. I, I mean, you could sort of have him pose towards Batman like that, maybe? I don't know. That would be... Ah, another problem is, depending on the pose you put him in, he can't stand very well. That is fine. But, when I swiveled him over and put his face like that, he falls over. It's very difficult. So, whilst there is the posability options there, I would highly suggest just having a fairly neutral stance. Uh, but that works. And now on to Batman. Uh, I really like this version of Batman, sort of animated Batman, kind of, inspired, I'm going to say. Uh, cape is obviously very static, can't do anything with it. He has a Batarang, which is cool. Uh, I mean, 
if if he stands like that, it kind of looks like a bit like he's got a knife, uh, which is weird for Batman. But you know, if you hold it like that, it looks like he's preparing to throw it. Head is not movable, which is very slightly annoying. But then he has got a cape and cowl and stuff on. Uh, and then his other fist obviously has the little bat sharp knee things, wherever they are. Uh, hips are swivelable, but uh, no, actually, he stands really well. Huh. Okay, well, out of the two, it seems Batman's the most well designed, which I guess is kind of what you'd expect because he is one of the biggest DC people. But yeah, um,. Well, wow. okay then. That's that's pretty cool. You can set them up however you want. Uh, but yeah, so uh, just to recap over the set, the detailing. Uh, I haven't gone over Batman's detailing actually, but it's. I mean, it's pretty standard. There's not too much. You can see the abs there. That symbol's totally fine. Goes utility belt. Uh, she doesn't really have anything apart from the. Well, I mean. The small details, but they're kind of repeated apart from the front, which looks a bit different. And his feet and stuff, that's fine. Um, but yeah, I mean, the the detailing on Batman is obviously a lot less necessary, because he's, he's quite a, you know, a few bits of a costume, whereas the Joker has an entire suit, which, as I said before, I mean, even goes down to the buttons and the very small uh, gap between his gloves and things. So, overall... I would give the set a solid 8.5 out of 10. Um, I mean, obviously articulation isn't a big thing with figures like this because they're kind of there to be sort of small chibi figures and if you want posable things and sure play arts. I've quite a few uh, figures like this, but yeah, I would say, you know, if you can find them for fairly cheap, I got these guys for £3, um, then, you know, go ahead. I mean, if you like the characters. Also, before we go, uh, I'll just demonstrate how, sort of, you know, Batman and the Joker are one of the most famous DC superheroes, obviously. Uh, also, some of the sets advertised on the back are uh, Prometheus and Green Arrow. I'm aware of Green Arrow. We have John Stewart and Atrocitus. John, John Stewart is uh, the Green Lantern. I, I, I'm not sure. I haven't read much Green Lantern, I'll admit. And we also have uh, Lowe? That is Lowe, isn't it? Lowe versus Tom R. Ray. I don't know who they are. I think he's a member of the Yellow Lantern Corps, but... Yeah, um, there seems to be a really heavy sort of Green Lantern kind of uh, thing on this, so I'm assuming the set came out around the time of the movie, which I didn't hate. I didn't, you know. But anyway, enough about DC movies and stuff. Uh, thank you very much for watching, and uh, see you next time.